Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing very well. If you are an OG subscriber, then you might remember of this video right here where I talked about how to get rid of hair down there. I filmed this back in college and I remember briefly mentioning laser hair removal and not really knowing much about it at the time. Anyways, last week I went to my final laser hair removal session and I wanted to film this video for anyone that was curious about it, wants to know the cost, the pain level, how many sessions you have to do, literally anything that you wanna know about laser hair removal, I will most likely be answering in this video. By the way, I am filming in front of my window, so I'm really sorry about the constant light changes. It's a cloudy day. The first question that I got was, does it hurt? Yes. It definitely hurts, um, but I'll say this, because I feel like the pain is what turns a lot of people off from it. It's not like agonizing pain, but it's like getting snapped by a rubber band, but with each session, the rubber band is thicker and stronger, so the snap just like hurts a lot more. Um, up until like the last four sessions, I was okay. Those last four, not gonna lie, my eyes, my eyes were sweating a little bit because I didn't cry or anything, but my eyes just watered up from like how shocking like the zap was sometimes. Um, Loki felt like you were being electrocuted or something. <laughs> um, so. This doesn't make you want to try it, does it? I should stop talking. <laughs> Listen, I think it's the best thing since sliced bread, so I think you should do it. I'm just gonna be very honest, it does hurt. The next question I got a lot was, is it worth it? I literally used to plan around my shaving schedule. So if I knew I was gonna go to the pool or to the beach, I knew like, okay, hold off on shaving until this day so that way we can have a clear 24 hours without any hair stubble or whatever. So for me, it's very, very worth it. I would say if you have like thinner hair or lighter colored hair, maybe it's just really not worth it at all to you because you don't really need it as much. But for us hairy gals, I, it's worth it. Next question that I got was what areas did I get done? So I got my underarms and then I got a full Brazilian. So it's basically, if you don't know what that is, it's just everything down there from front to back. It's a hairless, it's like a hairless mole rat. Is it awkward? I mean, it's not the most comfortable thing, like who wants to open wide for a stranger to like zap your goodies. It only takes a couple of minutes to do and they're usually very focused doing it um, because you could actually burn, which that actually leads me to my next question, which is important things to look out for or ask for when choosing someone to do it. So, okay, let me tell you guys. I was probably the most obnoxious person ever that they've had because I asked them a bajillion questions to the point where they sent me to the back to the manager's office. When it comes to lasers, if you have any color to your skin, you have a way greater risk of burning. So I actually follow a girl on Instagram who is slightly darker than I am and she got lasers done on her, or laser hair removal done on her legs. and ended up getting burn marks all over her legs and they were like giant, like dark brown burn marks. The place that I went to is called Semper Laser and they assured me that the laser they use is safe for all skin tones and then also the people that they have working there are all trained. So I felt a lot more comfortable after speaking with the manager. I actually still did get a little burn from it. I think the lady just went over that area a couple times like more than she should have by accident. So even with the safest laser, I still got burned, not because of the laser, just because the lady went over it too many times. So, you know, just make sure you watch them like a hawk. At least that's what I do. The next question I got was how often do you get it done? For me, I did a total of 12 sessions and they spaced them all out. First it was like six weeks and then it was eight weeks and then it was like 10 weeks when the hair was growing a lot slower. How many sessions did it take you to see results? I'm not even joking. I saw results after the very first session um, which is why I love it so much because my body hair, like many others, it used to grow in literal hours. So I feel like underarms, I would have a good two days stubble free and then it would grow. And then bikini, <laughs> good 24 hour window before the hair would go back. So it really caught me by surprise when I just got one session done and literally no hair was growing back. But I didn't get too excited because they did tell me that you'll see results quick. It's just the consistency with the treatments every six weeks that actually keeps the hair away. Is it expensive? It doesn't have to be. Most, if not all places have financing options so you can just pay it off slowly every month. The place that I went to is very expensive and I don't know if it's just because I'm in Florida or what, but my total price or cost for the treatment for both underarms and a full Brazilian was $1,800.
I, I actually started getting targeted Instagram ads after my treatment and that's when I realized that I indeed did pay an arm and a leg for this because so many other places have specials going on all the time or just like five, you, like pay for five, you'll get five free. The last question is how long does it last? I'm just gonna go up to my mic for this one because this is very important. If this doesn't last me until the day that I die after I just paid almost $2,000. They can't like actually tell you it's permanent hair removal because if you were to get pregnant or experience any type of hormonal change, your body actually can start growing hair again. So they really can't say that. So what they'll say instead is like, oh, it's permanent hair reduction. I would actually love to get this question answered from someone who has gotten it done and you know, maybe has experienced a hormonal change or pregnancy or whatever, just to let us know because that is really gonna suck if I have to pay this much again because I will do it again. That's how amazing it is. I will absolutely do this again. I think I've answered most of the questions that people would want to know answers to, but if I didn't, feel free to leave them down below and I will make sure to answer them there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.